Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we are going to be talking about the gear I use to shoot all the videos on this channel. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the camera that I use. So this is the Fuji Film X-T2, and it is a mirrorless camera that is capable of recording up to 4K. And as you can see, I have an extra shotgun mic up here. This is so that I'm actually recording two sets of audio. One from the mic which I'll show you later and also one recording directly to the camera body just in case anything happens between say any recording problems, mess ups or whatever. The Fujifilm X-T2 is the main camera that is usually on the tripod and recording everything that goes on in the studio when we are filming anything, any reviews, any game stuff. The colors on the Fuji when recording are spectacular and they look really nice especially the skin tones. It's also very sharp when focus is set properly, especially when using a good lens such as this is the 16 to 55 mm f2.8 lens. But there are definitely some quirks to it. One of the things being that if you want to monitor your audio from the camera itself, you're going to have to purchase the battery grip which comes separately because the battery grip is the one with the headphone jack for you to plug in your headphones or earphones to monitor the audio. Also, if you want to record 4K for like 30 minutes at a time, you will also need this battery grip Otherwise, it only records at about 10 minutes, I think, of 4K footage. A gripe I have with this camera is that it randomly turns off when shooting halfway. So if I'm behind the camera and there's someone else in front of the camera, I'm perfectly fine with that happening because, well, it's technically not a fully video camera. Fuji is still making a lot of iterations to this. But when I'm in front of the camera and it turns off and there's no warning sound or whatever that it's going to stop recording. So sometimes... I could be like halfway through and then it stops and I didn't even realize that I have to reshoot everything. So yeah, that's a small gripe and hopefully later on there'll be some fixes to it. Other than that, the image is very clear, very crisp and clean as you've seen from the previous videos. And yeah, it's actually not even that expensive of a camera because it's still crop frame and mirrorless. Moving on to the light. So here I have the Aperture 120D and this light is actually very amazing because it not only has a very nice like package it's not that big but it comes with a very cool remote so with the remote sitting here i can tone down the brightness all the way down so this is like 10 percent i can even turn it off then turn it back on and let it go up all the way so so that i'm properly lit and everything a nice thing about this light is it is daylight balance so what that means is when there's natural sunlight coming in from my right which I have a window here and it shines on me the light from the 120D also shines on me and it's balanced properly because yeah it is daylight balance so you won't get any like weird color cast halfway like half of your face is orange and half other half is like blue or whatever also if you notice behind me there's like this really small strip of blue lights those are Philip Hue lights in case you're wondering lastly this is the main source of where we record all our audio. So this is the Rode NTG4 Plus. It's also a shotgun microphone, but it is way more powerful than this one. And also it has to record to an external recorder. So like a Zoom H3 or what I'm using now is the Zoom H6. Usually this is like just out of frame. So it will be on a boom mic stand just up there. So you don't see it, but it's actually recording very clear audio. And as you hear, it's very clear, very crisp. And yeah, I like this mic a lot because it enables me to speak properly like I can have the camera a bit further away but even if I'm only speaking at the same volume it still picks up everything and then I sync it in post and yeah you get the audio you hear you may be wondering why I'm recording this on now and well it's the iPhone 10 and for all its flaws and people talking about it I have to admit the video camera for this thing is amazing like video and photos on this i've been using it as my daily drive for the past month or two since it came out and yeah it is legit like i use it i actually also even use the iphone 10 for a lot of b-roll that you see so like all the product shots everything some of it is actually taken with the iphone 10 bet you didn't realize that anyway so i'll leave links to all these products in the description box below if you want to check it out or maybe get it for yourselves uh let me know if yeah you like to see this kind of behind the scenes thing on what we use and how everything is done up or if maybe you want to see some different setups maybe streaming setups gaming setups i don't know post-production editing setups let me know and i'll see you in the next one bye